Thanks, President Obama has a message for the American people about the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS as it's known. He'll be addressing the nation tomorrow night. Now, today, an advisor to Secretary of State John Kerry was at Notre Dame and spoke briefly about the terrorist group. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk right now. And James, you also talked with a woman living in Iraq. Yeah, Rick, she's a professor in a region that's about 30 miles from where a lot of the ISIS-related violence is happening. She and the man who works for the State Department agree ISIS is a hazard to humanity. Dr. Sean Casey has worked for the U.S. State Department for about a year. He represents the Office of Faith-Based Community Initiatives and is an advisor to Secretary of State John Kerry. Part of the State Department's role in the ISIL crisis is to try and enable the new uh, Iraqi government to be more inclusive in reaching out to a wider span of faith groups, religious groups. He says one of the many functions of his office is to work with religious leaders in different countries in an effort to reduce violence, but that hasn't happened yet in Iraq regarding ISIS. We're doing research. Uh, we're trying to figure out what our part of the State Department uh, strategy will be, and obviously engaging uh, a wide swath of, of religious groups in Iraq is going to be a very important part of the State Department response. Dr. ML Tugdar is originally from Turkey, but she lives in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. We made contact with her through Skype. Of course, ISIS is trying to make little problems like we experienced a small car bombing uh, last week, uh, which is normal. Uh, these kind of things will uh, repeat, I guess. She says she doesn't feel scared anymore, and she's confident about living in the area because of foreign support. She's been pleasantly surprised by President Obama's recent speeches regarding Iraq and ISIS, and hopes the one on Wednesday will have the U.S. taking an even stronger stance against ISIS. They see that ISIS is actually not just a problem for Syria and Iraq, but it's expanding uh, its threats. Dr. Tugdar says the Kurdish people are strong and most are not afraid of ISIS anymore because she says they've become used to the violence. And James, the president will be speaking tomorrow night to the public at 9 o'clock. Yeah, he's expected to outline his strategy for dealing with ISIS. White House officials say President Obama is doing the address in prime time because he views ISIS as a national security priority. All right, James, thanks. Well, this afternoon, President Obama met with congressional leaders to talk about...